We just got back from Wyoming where we saw a full eclipse, which was amazing. In this video, I'll show you the highlights of our trip and also how you can make your very own crescent shadows using a colander and a flashlight. In August of 2017, a total eclipse crossed the entire United States. Where we live in southern Nevada, there was going to be a partial eclipse, but we wanted to see totality. So we made a beeline for a beautiful spot on the Idaho-Wyoming border near Teton National Park. Instead of crowding into the valleys, where single hotel rooms were selling for thousands of dollars, we decided to hike into the mountains. This was partly to get away from the crowds, but it was also a good excuse to spend a few days backpacking. So for two days, we hiked and hiked and hiked. The higher we climbed, the more flowers there were, until we came into the full glory of the alpine ecosystem. The color and variety of the plants in this area is incredible. We saw pink flowers and purple, blue, red and orange, yellow and white. There were whole valleys and mountain passes that were completely filled with wildflowers. We set up camp near Moose Lakes and then picked out a spot to watch the eclipse on a ridge between two mountain lakes. At the beginning of the eclipse, it was quite warm, probably around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. But as the light changed, the temperature dropped dramatically. I think I'm we often think of sunlight as being just visible light, the light that we can see. But sunlight also has two types of light that we cannot see, infrared light and UV light. We hear a lot about ultraviolet light because that's what gives you a sunburn. But infrared light is the biggest part of sunlight there are more watts of infrared coming into the atmosphere than both visible light and UV light combined. It's something I hadn't thought a lot about before the eclipse, but when the moon began to block the sun, I could not believe how cold it got. It felt like the temperature had dropped almost down to freezing. Oh Here it goes, guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Everybody look straight at it, because you're about to watch it disappear. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six. Six. Five, four, three. Oh, it's gone. It is gone. Oh, no, 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 no. Can we take Whoa. our glasses off? Yeah, you can take off your glasses. It's totally nice. Oh my gosh. I can see a star. This is what our view of the valley looked like about two minutes before totality. And then when totality hit, it really did feel like it was nighttime and the sun had just set. The eclipsed sun was an incredible sight and it was one that my simple camera could not capture. My camera lens saw a fuzzy white circle with a small dot, but my eyes saw a huge, perfect circle of black surrounded by a halo of white fire. Mick Mahan, an astrophotographer who was filming nearby, captured a beautiful series of images where you can actually see the sun flares, and you can see how incredibly striking the diamond ring is when the moon is just offset from the sun. Isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Yeah. I, I can see the sun's halo. <laughs> halo, halo, halo. Oh, I think we're about to see a diamond ring on the other side, guys. Yes. There it is. There's the diamond ring. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I put my glasses on. <gasps> guys, it's just. <a> <gasps> I can't believe the change in the light. <gasps> Purple sunset! First time in forever! <gasps> During the partial eclipse, if you looked at the dappled light underneath the tree, you saw something amazing. All of the spots of light turned into crescents. It was such a cool phenomenon. The light passing through the circles of a slotted spoon or a colander made half moon or crescent shapes on the ground below. And the good news is, you don't have to wait for a partial eclipse to see this. You can make your own crescent shadows with a flashlight and a small plastic circle. Take your flashlight and you're going to slide your moon or your plastic circle in front of a flashlight to duplicate the eclipse. If you have an LED light, um, they, they often have nine bulbs. And so that gives kind of a floral type pattern to the light. That's why I've put a piece of waxed paper over the top of the bulb, but that's optional. Get in a dark room and hold your flashlight behind the colander 
and then on the other side as you slide the disc across you'll be able to recreate a little eclipse and the cool crescent shadows that you see during a partial eclipse. So how was it babe? Pretty amazing. Was it worth the hike? It was pretty amazing. <laughs> Very diplomatic of you. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to Mick Mahan, Shara, Kavika, Amber, Maggie, Karina, and David for letting me use their photos in this video.